Welcome to today's episode. I have a very special guest here with me, Mark Krasinovic. Welcome thank and thank you. you for taking the time. My pleasure. So I think a lot of my listeners or watchers would like to know what do you think of when you think of Switzerland? What comes to mind? I think three things that are the classic Swiss things to think of. Chocolate, <laughs> cheese and banks. <laughs> nice. Of all the things that you get to work on as CTO of Azure, what would you say are like the most exciting projects currently going on? That's a tough question to answer. Uh, there's so many fun projects that I work on in my role, which is very broad scope. But I think uh, a very exciting one is the Cocoa Framework and Confidential Computing, things that I'll talk about today at the Tech Summit keynote. They're, uh, I think, groundbreaking innovations and in, in help increase the trust and security of the cloud platform in a very unique way that I think a lot of customers will really appreciate. It's fun working on something new like that. On a very high level, what is your vision with Azure that's in a five, 10 year time frame from now? Yeah, okay, very high level is that I think we've got the foundation for cloud computing in place, the fundamental services, and now we're going into high, super high productivity, which is evidence with things like serverless computing, where you can have developers just focused on the business problem and have the platform take care of everything. And I think we're just at the start of this. The serverless plus AI and ML as just features and functionality that are so easy for everybody to take advantage of. I think the next few years we're gonna see a, a big increase in, in how easy it is to take advantage of those things. It is very interesting and it's also, I think, a good time for many that are not yet are in technology, that if they're interested in to move into that field, what would you say is top of mind or a good place to start as we see a shift with what the mm -hmm. cloud platform actually enables? Well, I think the, there's general advice that I would give, which is to read and play with as much as you can. And I think the cloud platforms are already pretty broad platforms at this point, so you need to get started small and just take bites off and go from there. But I think uh, key technologies to focus on, everybody's going to be a data scientist. So even if it's not your specialty, even if it's not what you're doing day to day, you need to be familiar with the tools and the concepts and understand how you might be able to take advantage of it or how you might be able to guide somebody because the people that are developing business applications will be working with data scientists and it's important that they understand each other's languages. So I think that that's a, a key focus. So if you're watching this and you were wondering, data science, yeah. way to go. Then I was super surprised when I found out that you actually wrote novels. Mm -hmm. So you wrote a lot of technical books, but also now non-fictional non-fiction uh, books. What inspired you to, yeah. from a technical background, to write novels? So what inspired me was actually reading techno thrillers when I was growing up. I read my Michael Crichton books, for example, which I loved because I felt they were exciting, but I also felt that I was learning things along the way. So I always knew that I wanted to write one, and then what inspired me specifically to do a cybersecurity series of books, and the first one specifically, Zero Day, was recognizing the threats as we become more and more dependent on technology, on cyber systems, of malicious actors uh, having a big impact. And so I think we have to be very aware of that and take defenses very seriously. And I thought writing a techno thriller that would uh, introduce people that not in the field to what cybersecurity is about, as well as to raise awareness of the risks of not taking cybersecurity seriously it would be a fun book to write. It was very interesting and <laughs> to read. Thank you very much for your time to be here with us today. Thanks. And looking forward to hear to you, listen to your keynote yeah, later. Looking forward to giving it. Thank you.